It was here in 2014 in Dubai under the blazing sun and blue skies that the GEC took its first shot at becoming what was to be the most celebrated corporate golf tournament in over 18 countries. Hi, I'm Bharat Arvind and I'm here to take you through the highlights of GEC Open 2017. But before we swing into action, I'm going to ask my colleague Anushri to take you through the journey over the past three years. Here's to you Anushri, take it over. Thank you so much Bharat for having me as your co-host today. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the finale of GEC Open 2017. But as Bharat truly said, this journey will not be complete if we do not take you down the memory lanes of how GEC Open was initiated. Twenty fourteen was the year when the Magnum Opus was born. And how, you know, just over a cup of warm coffee and a couple of scribblings on a paper. GEC Global Enterprise Connect. The vision and mission of which was to connect people, organizations, enterprises across the world on a global platform. GEC Open was born in this magnanimous place which the world calls Dubai. A melting pot of cultures, harmony, races, business cultures and much more. But beyond all that, Dubai as a place is also known for its fast-paced life. So everybody asked us, why GEC? Why golf? So GEC Open came as a fresh breath of air in this hard-paced corporate life where peers and partners used to meet only in black tie events, which were serious kind of event. So with GEC Open, we brought a fun-filled platform for the peers and partners to meet each other, greet each other, and have a fun-filled place while playing the amazing game of golf. In 2014, GEC Open tied up with the Breast Cancer Institute. Coming across to 2015, we tied up with the UAE Red Crescent, Dubai Autism Center and KISS, Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences. 2014, the Address Montgomery played host to 72 participants from Dubai. The response was so overwhelming that we were forced to take the GEC Open across to six countries in 2015. The regions which we covered included Saudi, Oman, Turkey, Qatar, Kuwait and UAE for sure. In 2017, the GEC Open toured 10 magnanimous countries covering the Middle East and Africa. What was the outcome? Here we are with you, proud to tell you that we have been successful in connecting more than 3,000 C-level executives from all these countries who are all gathered here today to play the finale of the GEC Open. We'll talk it over golf. Such is the enterprising nature of this game. Call it the green fields of networking. It was this seed of an idea that has become one of the most popular corporate golf tournaments in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Global Enterprise Connect, or GEC Open, was created to enable free flow of information and business opportunities between regional and international corporations to build camaraderie and a better tomorrow. Global leaders and golfers synergize and strengthen their bonds through the tournament. Beginning with a single round in 2014 in Dubai to 29 rounds played in 2017 across 18 countries, GEC Open's popularity is growing exponentially with each passing year. With over 2,400 corporate participants in the ecosystem, GEC is forging everlasting friendships and business relations. And I say, the journey is just beginning. In 2017, India hosted more number of national qualifiers than any other participating country. The five-city India tour was spread across some of the most pristine golf courses of Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Jamshedpur and Bhubaneswar. Corporate leaders and bureaucrats along with the creme de la creme of the amateur golfing fraternity not just played together but got enough time to bond over the game they all love. It's a little wonder why this bond extends beyond the course. 
India's only link style golf course, Golden Greens Golf Resort in Delhi NCR, hosted the opening leg of the tournament. With over 110 top corporates and business leaders gathered together at the Par 72 Championship layout, created by legendary designer Dr. Martin Hawtrey for a round of competitive golf and networking lunch. Thanks to the sponsors who made this happen and to all the participants who came in large numbers today. We had, I think, over 100 participants. So great. And uh, my request to GEC to keep it up and go on with it. Thanks. The tournament saw really low scores and nail-biting finishes. Anmol Puri, director at Monitor Deloitte, turned in the only under par round of the day at the tough course to emerge champion and seal a spot for the world final in Dubai. I feel very proud to represent India. Uh, tough conditions today, some great golfers, so very fortunate to win. Uh, looking forward to you know, win it for India and represent it. While I patiently wait for my break to get on the course, why don't you take a break right now and when we come back, we'll take you straight to the action. India played host to the most number of qualifiers this year, with over five rounds being played across Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Jamshedpur and Bhubaneswar. With pleasant weather all year round, Bengaluru is fast emerging as the golf capital of the country. And being the Silicon Valley of India, it attracts some of the top corporates and industry stalwarts from across the world. For 2017, GEC partnered with the Prestige Masters Series in its quest to create an unforgettable golfing experience in the city. This is a corporate event which takes part every month for a period of six months which culminates with a final event where golfers from different parts of the country are playing the final. Right now this year is our third year and we are collaborated with the GC for our national golfers to step up to the international stage and take it to a global level. I hope you guys, golfers, all of you, rise to the occasion for India to compete with the global stage with several countries across the country and make this happen and make India proud. We have a ceremonial Christmas cake mixing and I would urge as many of you please come help with the cake mixing. A game of over six rounds with more than 700 participants culminated in an exciting grand finale. Staving off a stiff challenge from a field of 60 finalists, Naveen Wahi from the Prestige Golfshire Club emerged victorious to seal a spot in the GEC Open World Final in Dubai.
Besides glory on the greens, the prize presentation was indeed a lavish wine and dine experience in itself. It's been a fabulous journey and uh, next year we hope to add a lot more countries as well and more cities in India and keep growing this tournament. The vision for 2020 is 70 countries, 700 golfers in the World Final in Dubai and that's where we're going with this and we hope you all join us on this journey and keep having fun and thank you once again Prestige for this fantastic event. Really an honor to be a part of this. Thank you. Celebration lured Bengaluru socialites and the golfing fraternity. Now who doesn't want to be a part of that? Master Series was concerned, Prestige has done a wonderful job and I'm so happy that I associated with Prestige to capture these wonderful memories and 2017 has been a really good series and I look forward to 2018 very soon. Thank you and Prestige Master Series, wish you all the best for the years to come. Let's bring you more of the action. And now, ladies and gents, to the big moment, the winner of the tournament after two days' play. Over 60 players qualified for the World Finals here in Dubai, played over two rounds at the World Championship courses of the Emirates Golf Club and the Jumeirah Golf Estates. Soak in the beauty of these Arabian gems as we take you straight to the action of the World Finals. After touring the Eastern Hemisphere, the GEC Open 2017, organized in association with OMA Emirates, culminated in Dubai for the coveted World Final.
forming a unique melting pot of diverse cultures and ethnicities, as many as 60 world finalists came together for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to compete under national colors. As part of this two-day extravaganza, the mighty earth course at Jumeirah Golf Estates, designed by Greg Norman, and the prestigious Mudgley's course at the Emirates Golf Club, hosted two rounds of golf that left the finalists craving for more. So here's how the magic unfolded. We created this event where corporates not from one part of the world, but multiple parts of the world actually come in and talk and share things. And in this market, which is not very great, I mean, helps each other to basically find more avenues of doing business across and expanding their base. As the curtains drew on the first day at the Jumeirah Earth Course, also host of the DP World Tour Championship on the European Tour, playing off scratch, Frenchman Christophe Kalou, a qualifier of Heritage Club in Mauritius, carded 35 Stableford points. Susan Drummond, scored equal number of points, was edged out of the top spot owing to a higher handicap. Day one was uh, off to a very slow start for me on the course, but after five holes or so, warmed up and then got to be okay. <laughs> Susan, who hails from Scotland, booked her berth in the world final at Dreamland Golf Club in Baku, Azerbaijan. Indian national, Hassan Ali Balsara, who qualified from the Mumbai edition at Willington Sports Club, tailed the leaders with one stroke. You call Ying Yong Kij from Nikanti Golf Club in Thailand had the same number of points as Hassan Ali after round one and found himself in the thick of things at the fray. For the final day, the amateurs moved to the Emirates Golf Club Majlis course, the venue of the Dubai Desert Classic on the European Tour. Oh, it's super. In fact, nice to play along with such lovely courses in uh, Dubai, mm -hmm. along with so many uh, golfers from different countries. And uh, so you don't know any one of the golfers when you are teaming up, mm -hmm. and it's great fun. Mm -hmm. A very nice experience that I'm playing at the same place where others have played. I mean, professionals have played, and I have got the opportunity to experience that what uh, mm -hmm. professionals have done. Yu Call from Thailand consolidated his first day score of 34 points with a superb round of 39 stable foot points. The overall score of 73 Stableford points was enough to propel him to the top of the leaderboard. Verlito Kindoza, a national winner from Dirab Golf and Country Club in Saudi Arabia, secured an identical two-day score of 73 Stableford points, but had to settle for runner-up due to a higher handicap. The third spot went to Susan Drummond, who carded a two-day total of 70 Stableford points. The action was followed by lively conversation and laughter amongst newfound friends. But that's not all. GEC Open 2017 marked the launch of the first GSR campaign directed towards green energy, one light, one earth. All the participants at GEC Open 2018 will get an opportunity to own the green energy One Light and proceeds will go to a charity partner of their choice. If that impressed you, 2018 will be bigger and better with 50 qualifying rounds in over 32 countries, engaging over 3,700 participants. So wait for it, or even better, be a part of it. All the way from Scotland, Susan Drummond. Our second place finisher in the tournament, from Saudi Arabia, Ferlito Quindosa.
And now, ladies and gents, to the big moment, the winner of the tournament after two days' play. Yoko Yingja Kij. So there you have it, over five months of qualifying rounds and two winners emerge here in Dubai. As you heard from some of the players, this truly was a memorable experience. I hope this inspires you to sharpen your game and join us for the 2018 edition. I know I'll be working on mine. Till then, it's goodbye and shukran from here in Dubai.